Uh, so real quick, I'm going to talk about guards and strikes. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of blocking and striking in this, uh, these set of videos because I'm in the middle of nowhere. I have no training pads. I have no training partners. So, uh, but it's good to have a variety of techniques to utilize when you're doing like combo practicing. Like for instance, if you're going to throw a punch, punch, kick, kick combination, you should probably know how to throw a punch. So, uh, we're going to start off with the basic punch. The basic punch has a simple motion. It's not really about the motion. It's far more about the fist itself. The fist has to be uh, formed properly. You want a tight fist. You want your thumbs going over the first two fingers. You do not want them going over the top knuckles. You want them going over the bottom. You're aiming with these two knuckles here, the, t the uh, first two. <sighs> when you punch, <sighs> shoulders square, fighting stance. Fighting stance is guard up, one, uh, front arm blocking the face, back, uh, back arm sort of blocking your torso, your chest area. And so when you're doing a back arm punch, you would be twisting and throwing the punch with your right shoulder. So let's see. You got your right leg back, you would twist forward. As your arm comes up, your, your, arm, your fist goes from this palm up to palm down. Okay? And uh, when you're punching, you're actually supposed to be going through your target. So if your target's up here, you want to punch through it. So you're not going here and stopping, you're really going here and then pushing this extra force into it. When you're throwing a punch, it should be with your whole body. It's not just with your arm, it's not just with your hand or your shoulder. You should be putting your whole body into it. And so it's a, it's a whole twisting motion involving your hips all the way down to your toes to get that to get that speed in there. Otherwise, you're just sort of going through the motions and it's not very effective. There's no point in practicing if you're not practicing with intent. <sighs> blocking is a very similar principle. Um, there's various blocks. There's middle section block, there's high block, and then there's low block. Those blocks are all pretty much done the same way. Depending on the direction, will determine if you're doing high, middle, or low, but it's always elbow to elbow, thumb to ear. Now, in a fight, you're not going to be sitting there going, doing that kind of stuff. You're not going to go through the full range of motion, but the practice of the full range of motion gets you that coordination, gets you that, uh, it, just, it just builds up the muscle memory to utilize the techniques properly. And so, elbow to elbow, thumb to ear, high block, middle block, low block. The point of a block isn't to stop an attack. The point of a block is to go through an attack. So just like a punch, you're not stopping at the point uh, where you meet the attack, you're going through it, through it. And so elbow to elbow, thumb to ear. Notice when I go full force, I'm not really doing this proper form. I apologize, but that's why we practice. So guards, high block, middle block, low block. There's also variations like double blocks, X blocks, stick block, C block. We're not going to go over those right now. But anyway, so punches, very simple. You got to put your, not just your shoulder and your arm into it, but your whole body, twisting your shoulders, twisting your hips, twisting your back foot. We'll go over that a little bit more specifically when I think about the videos a little more, <laughs> a little more accurately. But anyway, the, the main takeaways for this is twisting, putting your shoulder into your punches while aim, while Remembering where your thumb is located, aiming with your first two knuckles, blocks, uh, elbow to elbow, thumb to ear. You want to go through your attack, through your opponent, because if you don't go through your opponent, they're going through you, and there's no point in learning the self-defense stuff if you're not going to defend yourself.